In this video we're going to show you how to translate shapes around on a grid. First of all just using instructions like left, right, up and down and then after that using a vector. So let's have a look at this question here and we use this as an example. It says translate the shape 3 left, 4 up. This word here, translate, just means slide. So if you could in your exam, cut out the shape and slide it three units left and four units up, uh, then obviously that's what you would do. But you don't want to go cutting up your exam papers. What you need to do is you need to keep that position, uh, that, that shape in position, and use the tracing paper. Now, you can always ask for tracing paper in your exams. It's definitely allowed, and uh, I think it's really useful in this case. Just to begin with, once you've got the, the point of translation once you've got the techniques you probably won't be able to won't need to use the tracing paper so here I have sh traced the shape and my instructions say that I've got to go three left and four up so I'm simply going to just count the squares as I move the shape okay let's see if we can get some light underneath to help us out there there we go okay so now you can see the shape and you can see the grid. So if I move it three, one, two, whoops, three places left, and then four places up, one, two, three, four. That's the position in which I need to draw my shape. And now all I'm going to do is just lift up the corners and just put a couple of dots to show me where the shape is going to end up. OK, and those were the top two corners, and now I can just continue to fill in my shape. Draw exactly the same shape as you had originally. We're not changing the size or the orientation of the shape. We are simply moving it, sliding it about on the page. And that is a translation, three units left and four units up. However, if you want to access higher grade translations, and I say higher grade, it's about C grade, this, um, you need to be able to use these things called a vector. Okay, so this question is asking us on a coordinate grid to translate the shape. Again, that means slide the shape around. So you can guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to trace it and move it around. And uh, we've got to use the vector 3 minus 2. Okay. Now, in order to be able to use a vector, you need to know the following things. You need to know that translation means, or translate means, slide the shape. A vector follows the following rules, the same rules as you would use for um, a coordinate. Along the corridor, up the stairs. So the first number that you see is how far along, and the second number is how far up or down the stairs you're going to go. Okay. So if we look at our vector here, we've got 3 along the corridor and a minus 2 up the stairs. You need to know also that the directions um, are based upon the sign of the number. So here I had a positive 3 along. So positive 3 is to the right. And then I have a 5, which is a positive number. That's up. But on the vector that I'm being asked to do, I've got a 3 along, that's a positive 3 along, so I'm moving to the right, but then I have a negative 2, which is a downwards motion. So I'm going to go for this question 3 along and then 2 down. And I'm just going to write that next to my vector. 3 along to the right, because that's positive, and then 2 down. It's down because it's a negative number. So let's see if we can go ahead and do that. Three along and two down. With the tracing paper, it looks like this. One, two, three along, and then one, two down. And I'm just going to put a single dot this time to represent the top right-hand corner. And then I can fill in the shape from there. And I've translated the shape by the vector 3 minus 2. 
I've got a couple of other examples just to show you very quickly um, using different vectors, just hopefully getting you used to using the vectors. Here's another one, the same shape, but we're going to translate it differently this time. We're going to translate it by the vector minus 2, 1. Let's go back to the little sticky, uh, sticky bit. It says minus 2 along the corridor. Remember, the first number is along the corridor. So minus 2 along. Which direction is that? It's to the left, because it's a negative number. And then it's 1 up the stairs. Now, it's a positive number. So we're going to go upwards, like that. Now this time I want to try to do it without the tracing paper. Um, and people quite often get this wrong if they try it without the tracing paper, but there is a fairly straightforward way that you can do it. You simply choose one of the corners of your shape, put a little blob there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that blob. I'm going to ignore the rest of the shape, I'm going to move that blob. Two spaces to the left, and one space up. There it is. <coughs> now since that was the top left corner of my shape here, that blob has got to represent the top left corner of my new shape. So I'm just going to draw from there my new shape. There we are. And I've moved it two to the left and one up. The last one we can have a look at very quickly is this one here. Translate the shape by the vector 0, minus 2. Once again, take a look at the sticky notes. Along the corridor, the top number is along the corridor. We are going 0 along. So, in fact, I'm not going to put an arrow there. I'm just going to put a little dot. I mean, I'm staying where I am. I'm not going along the corridor at all. 0 means no motion left or right and a minus 2 here, well minus is down the stairs so we're going to go along 0 so again if I choose a point here along 0, so it's staying where it is and then move it down two places to that point there and my new shape overlaps the old shape there we are Okay. I hope that's been really helpful to you in being able to translate a shape by a vector. Um, if you need to describe a translation, you may want to check out the video on describing translations.